All right, guys, so what's the difference between a broadcast spreader and a drop spreader? Well, a lot. So the way this works, oh, let's get the sunlight right. A broadcast spreader drops the fertilizer down there. Hey boys, back up here in the sun. And it spins and it flings all over the place. Now there is that edge guard that can try to help it, but it just does a wide pattern. And if you go faster, it's gonna fling it even farther. And if you go slower, it's gonna fling it lower. Now with a drop spreader, you can see it's filled all the way, gee, sunlight, all the way through, and it's just dropping it, just like the name. So those guys spin. Good buddy, squeeze the uh, handle for me. And they literally just drop down these holes. So you see it's gonna go straight where you are. You drive faster with this, it's not gonna change the pattern at all. Drive slower. It's not going to change it at all. It's going to go in that lane. Oh, I see it. All right, boys, boys, back up. So, it would seem to be the drop spreader would be better for most home users because you might walk different, right? But the issue is, unlike striping, when you stripe the lawn, you can see where you mowed. You're not going to really see where you're spreading. So if you're not perfect, you're gonna miss spots. And that's why the broadcast spreader is better. But there's a couple areas where you're gonna wanna use a drop spreader. All right, take this in, for instance. We just clean up the beds, they look all nice. We need to overseed here. If I go by with the, bro the broadcast spreader, it's gonna fling seed all over. And yes, you have that edge guard, but as you're doing this turn, it's still gonna be shooting out forward. And so it's gonna shoot out into the the garden bed which that did happen last year and I knew it would but you know sometimes you just go with the flow and so we had grass grow in the garden beds that's fine and dandy when you're in this this phase we're in where we're moving beds around and doing everything but once you get it all set up you don't want to have to keep dealing with that so that's where taking this just following that edge the seed is gonna drop right along the edge you're gonna have no problems. It's gonna work out great. So you can do this around the edge of all of the perimeter and then use the broadcast for the main areas. And then you got best, the best of both worlds. So obviously we're not all flush with cash. These things can be like a hundred bucks each, even more if you get a nicer one. Um, what I did, that guy over there, the drop spreader, I just went on Craigslist. It was, uh, I think 10 bucks, 15 bucks. And it was funny because as I'm walking away, I heard the guy say to his buddy, he's like, oh, I got it for free and I just sold it for 15 bucks. So he's winning, I'm winning. It's pretty awesome. It's, it's basically new condition. Um, so you don't have to go crazy on your budget, but if you can only afford one spreader, get the broadcast spreader. Um, it's a lot better, more versatile, and you'll use it. Hey buddy, don't touch it. You'll use it for more things than you will for the drop spreader, so... But if you do have the room and the budget for both, or you find a deal on uh, Craigslist... Because, I mean, few people are going to need a drop spreader, so... If you buy one and you realize, oh, I really needed the other type, you're probably going to put it on Craigslist and try to get rid of it, right? So, um, there's deals out there all the time. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Uh, I like doing update videos later, so I appreciate all questions, comments, criticisms, all that. And on the next version of the video, I make a lot better, so. All right, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. It's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun, making all these videos. And uh, be sure to check out the ones below. Have a great day. Bye.